Francis, what is the greatest thing in sports? Penalty kick. No, wrong. Overtime. Overtime. And overtime. Yeah. Count the 30 seconds in your head. I'm going to run through all the American sports overtimes for our audience overseas that might not know it before we get to there. So start now. Go. 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 Major League Go. Baseball. Go. Extra Go. innings. You Go. play Go. until Go. the home team or away team Go. scores first. Go. If the away team gets the top of the inning, the home team gets the Go. bottom of the inning. Whoever Go. scores at the end of those innings wins. Got it. Go. Boom. Go. NFL. Strange. There's a coin Go. toss. They Go. changed this more recently, Go. about three years ago. Coin toss goes to, let's say, Green Bay Packers or Chicago Bears. Packers get the coin toss. If they score a field goal, the opposing team gets the ball. Wow, did I really have no time at all to get through that? That was a giant fail. Well, okay, we're going to continue anyway. Uh, Green Bay Packers or Chicago Bears, let's say that's the situation, right? Yeah. There's a coin toss. Let's say the Packers win the toss, okay? Yeah. They have the option to either not score, right, yeah. which is bad. Other team gets the ball either via turnover, punt, turnover on downs, whatever it might be. If the opposing team scores, game's over. Mm -hmm. Next score wins. Mm -hmm. If they score a field goal, the opposing team gets a kickoff, and they have the option to either score a field goal yep. to tie the game, See and that. then the next score wins. Yep. If they score a touchdown, they win. Yep. Or if they don't score at all, the opposing the team opposing that had team the field goal it. won. Yep. Okay. College football, one of my favorites, a little bit stranger. Similar to baseball in the terms of extra innings where you have a top and bottom half of the inning. In this, uh, in this situation, it's the top and bottom half of the overtime. Uh, you get the ball on the 25-yard line. And similar to the NFL's overtime rules, if you score a field goal and the other team comes back and scores a field goal, tied, you go to the next overtime. Yeah. If you score a field goal, other team doesn't score at all, you win. Or if it's field goal and touchdown, obviously more points, you win. Yep. Uh, but it keeps going back and forth until somebody has the, the better, bigger score. Yep. Uh, what am I missing? NHL just changed their overtime rules, and they have three versus three, which is going to hopefully limit shootouts. And is that the purpose of the clip now is that we're supposed to be telling? That the NHL has changed that, right? Well, so it's what, part of it. Part of it, okay. but The purpose oh, of the clip is sense? what is the best Okay, okay, double check. Overtime in sports. Thanks for the clarity. Before you get to soccer ball. Soccer ball. World football. Clips. Squarespace. Squarespace.com slash TYT for 10% off your first purchase. It's a free trial. You can learn how to build. I shouldn't say learn how to build. You get to build a professionally looking website. Yep. And I know you're building one. And it's going and to look, be beautiful. And it's going to look beautiful because Squarespace mm -hmm. built it beautiful. Now go so, over world football. So, I mean, there's many different uh, variations uh, in the United States. Is a little strange because sometimes uh, it's golden goal throughout college and many of the which the, is the best which by is far. A, which is a weird but in the U.S. that's it's still a little bit of a strange rule considering it's only technically supposed to be used for World Cup competitions that's where most people use it um, but usually it goes into extra time we don't call it overtime I refuse extra time in which is two 15 minute halves mm -hmm. um, you can have golden goal involved and that's always two 15 minute halves and it goes into extra time and then from that. Depends on the competition. Sometimes it can still end in a draw, but most often than not, it's in a tournament where if it's still level, it goes into uh, penalty kicks. But penalty kicks is one that's been around forever. Sometimes games go straight into penalty kicks. It's not usual that that happens. Another rule that they added was silver goal, which was the worst idea I have ever heard in my life. Probably ever. worse than making a second Paul Blart Mall Cup, but it was really, but really... the third Paul Blart Mall Cup that's coming out. That's unbelievable. That's going to be worse. But silver, silver goal is when if one team scores, they play it at a half, and if that team's winning, it's done. When, and they, have, they completely just d discarded it. I think some people might... I don't know what division uses it, but not mainstream football does not use it. So in cup competitions, usually extra time penalties. In competitions such as the Champions League, to explain, it's not exactly overtime, but it's still considered a tiebreaker is uh, away goals. So right. sometimes that comes into play. Um, but more and often, then the aggregate scores for things like the Champions scores, League yeah, competition it comes into and that. tournament play. Yeah. Uh, I forgot the NBA. The NBA is a five-minute overtime Yeah. Uh, where whoever One of the scores best, the most points, uh, if they're tied, they go into double overtime. Yeah. And if they're still tied, they go into triple overtime. Do you know what happens if they're still tied? They go into quadruple, quadruple overtime, overtime until there's a winner, yeah. uh, which is great. Uh, but again, one should just do period. a penalty, penalty three throw out. Uh, a a three-point shootout? Yeah. A dunk contest? Not a dunk contest. A one-on-one on one with the coaches? But it's, I think a penalty uh, three throw shootout. Each player who's in the starting eleven has a to hit one. The starting three five. throw shootout. Yeah, it'll be penalty awesome. I think it'll be really fun. Oh, my God. So, awesome. Francis, the question then becomes, what do you think has the best extra overtime format? And I want to base it off of what do you think is the most exciting to watch? Because um, best is such a... Uh, a loose, transparent okay, word. Okay, so in terms of exciting, 
I love a penalty shootout. I, I, you, you saw me during the World Cup. I love it. Many people hate yeah, it because of it's of unjust. Penalty! It's penalty shootout. It's penalty shootout. It's there. so exciting. And the funny thing is, is I talk, not to just completely tarnish Ben, but he's like, it's not that hard to score. I was like, Ben, you step up 12 yards out when the whole country is watching you and relying on you. Your legs suddenly start to turn into jelly. And that goal becomes a lot smaller and Emmanuel Neuer, Emmanuel Neuer looks a lot bigger than what his usual stature is. He takes up the full goal by that point because it's just so much pressure on it. So I love the pressure involved in it. Obviously, I haven't taken a lot of penalties and penalty shootouts. It's not as much, you don't love it as much when you're in the shootout. It's more so when you're watching it. But the, the, just the, the, I don't know, the adrenaline that, throws, that, that falls through after seeing a team that you're supporting win a penalty shootout is incredible. So for me, that's so exciting. But in terms of a just overtime, it's not as much so as exciting. I think the NBA has the most just overtime because you play until someone is technically better based on what they're doing because there's no little flaws in it. There's no next point wins, which golden goal is, which I don't think is, is, is just. People, Ben, would be like, golden goal is more just than penalties. No, it's not. I don't think Golden Goal is more just. I think it's a lot more exciting because you mm. stick. And, I, and, I, and my reason for that is in the NHL, it is a Golden Goal. Yeah. If you score, you win. Granted, I think it's a little bit different than the NHL's position because it's a smaller yeah. rank. I mean, you have the ability. If you open up with, with soccer ball, as you call it, world football, I, I, I understand now why it's unjust. Yeah. But you can't argue that in the World Cup, Goats is scoring in the 112th minute. Which wasn't golden goal. Wasn't golden goal. No one uses golden goal anymore because they don't believe it is just. And I completely agree. You could be battering a team for the full 18 minutes. And I guess that's just of a game because this happens. But in golden goal, when everyone's so exhausted towards the end of it, I just like to see penalty kicks. I'm just a penalty fiend. And if someone happens to just have a minor mishap and someone scores, I'm not saying it's not just because that happens in football. It happens all the time. Teams win games they shouldn't. But for a World Cup competition, I believe there's so much more passion surrounding penalty kicks than there is a golden goal. It's about goal. love. It's about love for the game. Passion. I sound, like, I sound like Pele. You sound like Mooj from yeah. Four Year Old Virgin. <laughs> uh, I go with Stanley Cup playoff overtime. So, Francis, you think penalty kicks. You get so excited from penalty kicks, and I understand yeah. why. But for me, it's pretty much been overtime in the Stanley Cup playoffs mm -hmm. because the intensity... The pace of play, uh, for, it's a heart attack in the making, and you just feel like at any second it's going to happen. When the LA Kings won in two overtimes to win yeah, I the Stanley Cup. I remember. Uh, a few of the Stanley Cup playoff games in this year's Stanley Cup went into uh, Stanley Cup finals between the Blackhawks and the Lightning went into overtime. And yeah. you're just sweating. You're shaking. You're like, I'm freaking out. By the way, our trusty Korean newspaper source that we go to every single day. Of I know course. Some people read the New York Times, Chicago Tribune. We read the Korean newspaper source. Of course. Uh, they said the Chicago Bears clinched the Stanley Cup. Good job, Bears. And because of that, we just, we apologize. We didn't, no, we thought the Bears won, which most Bears fans in Chicago are probably freaking out yeah. anyway if they're also reading the Korea Republic Times. Nice. Is that what it's called? The Korea, Korea. Tribune, maybe the Korea, Korea uh, Post. Herald. Could be Post, could be the Gazette. Yeah. Could be any one of them. Uh, so we actually do sincerely apologize for that. We were supposed to bring in uh, a guest to discuss and break down how the Blackhawks won and Duncan Keith winning the uh, Stanley Cup playoffs MVP trophy. Let's talk tactics on the ice. The less the uh, what is well, what is it when they do shows on ice? What is it called? Disney on ice. Like, Disney on is, ice. Let's talk tactics on ice. That would actually be a good show. It's the Stanley Cup on ice. Uh, nice. But we do apologize for that. We do see the comments, and of course we read all your comments. So we know that we did not cover the Blackhawks winning the Stanley Cup. We know they're a dynasty. We will do better next time around. Regarding that, though, Duncan Keith played like an insane amount of minutes. He's only the second defenseman, I believe, yeah. to ever win. The MVP of the Stanley defenseman Cup always sounds really funny to me. It's like defender. It's, it's like they're knighted, and this defenseman is you. Guard but you the guys goals. actually knight people. Because we, do you know, Jason Sir wanted, Bono, Sir Alex Ferguson. I, I don't know why Sir this, Jason Rubin. I don't know why this slipped my mind when you're like, "Can I get knighted?" And I was like, "It's a monarchy thing. It's what happens in the UK." I was like, "You're like, could we knight someone here?" And I didn't even get, give you shit for that. I don't know why. There you have it. Best overtimes in sports. What do you think is the best overtime format? I shouldn't say best. What is the most exciting? Yeah. Overtime format. Leave it in the comment section below. But we know what it is. You can totally bash me for how I explained overtimes in the beginning. I did a terrible job. Thirty seconds. Of Therefore, that. we will leave some kind of link to a Wikipedia article that breaks down all the uh, overtime formats in sports. We'll also leave a link. Formats we'll also what? leave a link to Squarespace. To Square. Nice transition. Nice transition. Squarespace.com/slash tyt for ten percent off 
your first purchase. It comes with a free trial. Uh, seriously, Francis is building a website using Squarespace. Uh, I'm going to build a parody website of Francis Maxwell on Squarespace as well. Because if you want a professionally looking website that you can build yourself, that's where you have to go to get it. Squarespace, build it. Beautiful. Leave all those comments in the comment section below. By the way, we're in YouTube Space New York, which I think we failed to mention a few times. But it's but, awesome. Uh, but this it's brick, the brick awesome. behind us shows is very New York. Yeah, very New York. It's like we're underground, but we're not. We're like six stories in the air. And uh, it's so still thank you. hot. So thank you to YouTube Space New York. <laughs> it's still hot. Humid it's muggy. Yeah, Send us back. We love you, New York. Don't worry.